Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm doing great. So, you guys have all seen the Zebra Striped Bad Cat Kick Guitar several times. You guys have followed the series of videos of putting it together, finishing it off, and everything else. Right now, um, got it on the bench. I got a few more upgrades that I want to do to it. And uh, kind of want to talk about some of the things that I've done. All right, now the finishing part, you know, I'm not even going to explain it. You guys have all seen it, probably too much. But some of the other things that I didn't show uh, what I was doing with it. Now, the tailpiece and the bridge, all right, the original idea was to go with all black. So I ended up picking up a black bridge. This is the Wilkinson's Roller Bridge. I love these things. But it's like, yeah, there's some, you know, the frets are real shiny. They're almost like a chrome type of a fret. Uh, the pole pieces on the pickups, you know, they've got some little bit of bling to it, if you want to call it that. And a few other parts on here as well that have some chrome accents to it. So when I ended up doing the inlays or the um, decals, thanks Jeff over at Diving Cut Graphics USA, I have to throw that in there. I added the beaks as a chrome type of a, uh, accent. So I figured, okay, well, I've got a bunch of pieces, a bunch of parts over here. I got all kinds of, of other bridges and all kinds of other tail pieces and stuff. Let's mix and match some stuff around here. So what I ended up doing is I got a black tail piece with the chrome supports, brackets, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, you know, it's fully adjustable just like any other, you know, Les Paul tail piece would be. And, uh, well, now the bridge is off because the original bridge that I got for this thing is all black. So I ordered a chrome bridge and I ordered a black bridge, another one that is the Wilkinson's Roller Bridge. And what I ended up doing is, if you can see in this package, this one has a black base with chrome saddles. Now this one has a chrome base with black saddles. So that kind of gave me a little bit more accents to the whole scheme of the color and uh, you know the accessories that were put on the guitar as well. Now the one thing that I noticed with this, and it has nothing to do with the bridge because I even have the original bridge that comes with this kit, which is kind of a piece of crap, you know, it's the Twin Mag bridge with the wire on it and stuff to, to hold all the screws down and for the saddles and I don't I don't like those. Um, but the pickups don't they can adjust up and down, you can adjust them forward and backwards, but you can't adjust them side to side. All right, they are pretty much uh, routed, basically to fit. And I, although I've got the low E place where it's supposed to, they start to drift off as it gets to the higher string. So I'm wondering if I put the uh, F spacing, I'm gonna measure that out. Now, it's not the bridge's fault. It's basically the fault of the routing of this body. Um, there's not enough space to kind of move it around. Now if I use the, even if I use the mounting rings on this thing here, I still would have a little bit of room to go side to side with it or forward to back, but eventually the pickup mounts will start rubbing the wood on the inside of the cavity and that's not getting good either. So I kind of evenly spaced them on both sides and when I put these things in, if you guys can watch the video, you've seen it. But I got a couple of little accent pieces that I want to change out here. Now the whole idea was kind of make this body um, stick out more than the hardware and stuff that's on it. So what I ended up doing is I picked up some of these, these are orange and black uh, knobs. And I kind of want to see how well these will blend into this thing. So I picked these up. I also have a three-way switch top to match it. So I'll go ahead and pop these out. They're very, very light. They're not metal. They seem like they're more of a plastic. But I'm going to take one of these off. Kind of see how well it blends in. I hate when these things get stuck in. I'm going to use the came with this thing, it's a lot better. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this on. I don't want it to be on top of the body, so I raise it up just a little bit. And these are universal to fit basically any, any guitar. So let's see, not rubbing anything. 
not really camouflage, but blends in pretty damn good. So let me go ahead and tighten this thing up a little bit because I did not snug it up that much. Just snugged it up enough just to put it out here. All right, so yeah, I think I like those better. I kind of go with the, kind of go with it a little bit more. Now I've got a bunch of these knobs and uh, these black ones, so it's kind of like put that in place. Again, I don't want it to be resting on top of the body. That turns pretty freely. Doesn't rub the body at all. Go ahead and tighten this up. Now the, the place I ordered these from is an eBay store and they are called Eccentric, eccentric Guitars on eBay and they only have the knobs and basically any type of uh, knob you want to go with the theme of your guitar or to go with uh, you know glowing in the dark or whatever your your, your your plan is as far as how you want your guitar to look but they don't sell the three-way switch caps um, on the eBay store so you have to go to the website and where to order them they have a lot more of a big selection than what they have on their eBay store as far as purchasing and customization of your guitar so I kind of like the way these look more they kind of blend in a little bit better than the black ones do and again the whole idea was to kind of all right, make sure it's not rubbing any place the whole idea was to make the guitar stand out more than the hardware that's on there, although the pickups and everything else kind of... Alright, so I kind of like these better than the black one. They don't stick out as much. I have a bunch of these black ones. I got some other ones that uh, I ordered as well. So I'm pretty stocked up as far as the problem right stocked up as far as what I have as far as parts go. This looks to be sticking out a lot, so I'm going to tuck that in a little bit to get started. There we go. I'll back it off just a little bit. I like to set screw uh, knobs more than the push-ons even though these are not flat shafted knobs or poten potentiometers but these will work just fine on them as well all right so I got all the three volumes put or four volumes put on and, and tone controls so now I just have to wait for the switch here so next up is to basically the noise portion of the video oh hold up got a little bit of an unboxing to do oh here is the Kramer neck and it's pretty much ready to be clear coated and headstock be painted now the I spit on it damn it the headstock I'm waiting for Wally in a box to get back with me if he wants me to paint this black or if he wants me to paint the same color as I'm gonna paint the body so waiting on him on that one here but she's pretty much ready to go Excuse me. This is all sanded flush and leveled and everything else. Looks a little ugly, but at least it's better than having a broken headstock. Neck is all taped up and, you know, ready to go. I mean, just got a clear, put a clear on it yet. 
figure out what to do with that headstock. So, a little bit of an unboxing here. I'm going to open this thing up and see what I got. Well, I, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. How did they do this? Okay, it's folded over here. All right, so what we have here... Fretbender. Yep, so I, I did order one. So you can lock it over here, adjust it at the adjusting wheel here to get whatever you need as far as your bend goes, and you just turn the crank to get it to, uh, you know, bend to what, how you want it. Also, if you move this one over here, this bearing, these are bearings. This is kind of nice. Move the bearing over here, and you're able to straighten fret wire. In case you don't need that bend or you want to use a, use a remainder fret wire for something else that doesn't have the same radius as what you used it on for the first time. And it comes with some hardware. You got some tools over here, a couple of inner wrenches, a couple of screws. So you can mount this to the side of a counter or something, which I think that's what I'm going to end up doing inside of here. Have this thing mounted and uh, yeah. So this has, this has a bearing inside of this bigger wheel over here. The wheel is notched out so it can you can have the tang inside there as you're turning it. It's not going to flatten that out. And these two are bearings as well. And it moves really smoothly. It's not like it's uh it's not like it's tough or or you know there's a little bit of a catch in it or anything. So you loosen this up and then you adjust the wheel to whatever height. Loosen it up more whatever height that you want. It looks like I was already maxed out as far as it goes. Yeah, and get it real tight inside there if you want. Loosen it up. So I gotta figure out what the a 20 inch radius is gonna be. So with the 20 inch radius uh, uh, tool that I have, what I need to do is I need to test out a piece and then kind of put the radius gauge uh, up against it to see if it matches and then if it does then I'm right where it needs to be so yeah kind of a nifty little tool to have and uh, looks like I've got almost everything that I need to start building besides a couple of tools I need two more tools anyways that's it for this part let's start making noise Thank mm -hmm. you. 